kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And okay, guys, so I am back after a long break. So, guys, I was busy in my marriage, and then I had to go to a religious tour to Saudi Arabia. So that's why I was uh, not making any videos. But now I am back, and yes, now I will be able to make uh, videos. And okay, so guys, uh, today I am going to start a new video series, and that will be uh, I will be teaching you on how you can create your own video player app, which will have some professional features. Okay, so like you can uh, zoom in and zoom out of the video then i will also teach you how you can uh, control the brightness of your uh, video like if you uh, if you use the gesture uh, the finger gesture then you can control the brightness and also you can control the volume of the video as well as i will also be teaching you on how you can uh, use the floating widget like you can play the video in the background okay so that will be a very interesting uh, video series and i will be using the exo player so also i will be focusing more on the features of the exo player okay so if at the end of this video series you will be an expert of exo player and you will have an idea of how exo player works and how we can use the exo player features to make a, a beautiful video player app using android studio all right so first of all as you can see that this is the part one of the video series and in in this video i will be giving you the demo of how we can uh, how the app will be looking like and after that we will create a new project and after this we will be creating and we will be starting the project in our next part of the video series okay guys so make sure that if you are watching this for the first time please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also uh, comment down below if you are going to follow th th this video series okay so let's get started so as you can see that i already have connected my phone with this uh, and most of you ask me like which is this emulator so i want to tell you that it's not an emulator it's a real device okay so i am uh, a samsung user so i can easily connect my samsung device with this uh, laptop using the samsung flow uh, software okay so you can also install it if you have a samsung device and you can easily connect it so here you can see we have this mini video player and there you can see we have this beautiful uh, navigation drive and there you can see here is the all the list of all the videos all right and if you click on this so you can see that uh, you have this uh, vertical screen and you can display all the videos and if we click again so you can see all right so that is and if you there you can uh, display local videos and uh, local music but we will not be using and we will not be creating it okay so we are our main focus will be first of all will be on how we can display all the videos from our phone memory and uh, show them inside our recycler view okay once we show all the videos inside our recycler view then we also need to fetch the uh, duration of the video like this 12 seconds 24 seconds 20 seconds all right so we will first of all be displaying all the videos and after that if we click on any particular video so th that video should be played inside a new activity and that will be the video player activity there you can see video player activity okay so let me first of all open uh, a video so let's say we have this video and there you can see this is the controls and if we click on this so you can see now the video is being played in the background all right so there you can see and if we click on close so the video will be this one will be closed and if we click on this so this maximize button and also we have this uh, 
the full screen button so if we click on that okay so there you can see we are this video is again being played and there you can see this is the big I mean the landscape mode of the video and here if we click this okay so now it's back and okay so there are a lot of uh, bugs there but we will try to uh, remove all the bugs from there and let's get started now so let's create a new project and let's create an empty activity and also make sure that you f follow me and also make sure that you use the compile SDK version 28 okay no 29 I am not going to use Android X for now so you must have my you must use the Android uh, version 28 so there we can say with player pro 2020 and there we can and there you can see it's already selected like use Android X artifacts but we are not going to use this Android X artifacts alright so I will be creating this project in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you